Today, our Governor Bill Ritter um, uh, had a public uh, signing of an honorary proclamation uh, entitled Genocide Awareness Day, um, which was geared primarily towards the uh, genocide currently um, going on in Darfur. But as part of our uh, association with the uh, Colorado Coalition for Genocide Awareness and Action, who were the prime pushers behind this proclamation, they were the ones who coordinated it and approached the governor's office. Our participation with them has gotten uh, very high uh, and ongoing public recognition of the Armenian genocide as well. So uh, even in today's um, uh, uh, presentation and uh, uh, signing, uh, the Armenian genocide uh, was both uh, covered on one of the posters that they had and uh, referenced in uh, uh, some of the speaker's uh, uh, notes. Good work uh, to the community there. We understand that you are a former member of the AYF and have been uh, lobbying for genocide awareness for about 30 years in Denver. Tell us about the, your organization there. Yeah, um, I, I came out of uh, Chicago with the uh, Chicago um, uh, out of that chapter. Um, it started at the age of 14, and I, I had uh, just about every position on the executive board and in the mid in the Midwest conferences, and co-chaired um, the. Uh, 1967 uh, convention in, in uh, Montreal. So I've been active for a long time and then have been speaking publicly on the Armenian genocide for, uh, as you uh, indicated, over 30 years now. Um, both of my parents were survivors of the genocide, so uh, it has a lot of meaning to me. Um, I'm second generation. Um, I'm the third of three children from my parents. And in Colorado here, um, we started actively uh, promoting uh, the Armenian issues uh, way back in the 80s. As a matter of fact, uh, we have at the uh, state capitol a very large garden that is dedicated and uh, uh, referred to in official state uh, uh, documents as the Armenian Genocide Memorial Garden. Um, that was put in place in 1982 with a memorial headstone and a, a, uh, a fur tree that at the time was six feet tall when we planted it, and it is well over 40 foot uh, tall now. Um, Mr. Elligan, we thank you for the, the work you've done and obviously today's uh, proclamation. Uh, and we want to take a look at a picture of Governor Ritter with uh, our ANCA's Adam Hamparian. Uh, Viken, do you want to talk about Adam's work and uh, what he's been doing? Well, uh, what Adam uh, does uh, so effectively, and, and this is covering a period of some 20 years, is work with communities like uh, the community in Colorado and, and assisting them in uh, in approaching their elected representatives and opinion makers and, and giving them the, kind of the uh, information uh, so that they're equipped to uh, discuss the issues and advance the issues. Uh, I'd like to take a moment and, and thank Ken for working so hard with the community. I know it's not a large community that, uh, or a community of the size that we're accustomed to here in Southern California, yeah. but it's a community that obviously has uh, uh, rallied together and, and done an a exemplary job in, in making our message known and, and effectively so with uh, with the people that matter in Colorado. So, uh, Ken, with that, we, we thank you very, very much for your efforts, and we know you'll continue those. My pleasure, and give my regards to Adam, because he has helped us quite a bit over the years. No doubt. That's, that's in keeping with the uh, Hamparian tradition. Thank you, Mr. Ali Kian. And today, uh, uh, just one more mention of a uh, statement that the governor made. Uh, the first recognized genocide of the 20th century took place in Armenia with the slaughter of more than a million Armenians, and we have seen it again and again since. It is imperative that we recognize what has happened so we can ensure it will not happen again. Uh, and we'll be in touch with communities just like we are, uh, we were tonight throughout the U.S. We want to find out what different ANC offices are doing, what the volunteers are doing, and we'll bring all those stories to the airwaves of Horizon.